This morning, I'm going to show you how to create murals uh, in your own home. When I was a teenager, I think I was in middle school, um, I did a lot of drawing on paper, but I also wanted to paint something kind of big, you know, in my room. And I had wallpaper on the wall, and I, I didn't want to ask for permission. So I realized in my closet I had a ginormous blank wall. So I went and got spray cans from my dad's garage, and I spray painted a mural inside the inside the closet wall and it was pretty cool but the downside was there was an enormous amount of fumes in the bedroom and I had to sleep on the couch and air the place out and and I had not asked for permission so the whole thing went south not a good idea but I've got great safe ways to do it so let's head on into my place and we're gonna check it out and see get started first thing is you have to pick the wall that you want to paint your mural on. Okay, so now the wall's all clean, ready to go. And the big question is probably how are we gonna prep the wall? My number one recommendation is chalkboard paint because then you can just paint the wall white again if you want. I've done this before with my daughter, it's a blast. Uh, just cover it with chalkboard paint, and then you can go crazy on it. We're not gonna do this today for the demo, but that's just a recommendation. You can get chalkboard paint at Home Depot or any um, Ace Hardware, you know, any paint supply company. What we're gonna do today is we are gonna cover the wall with craft paper. This is like a, a big roll. You can get this at uh, supply stores, art stores. You can order it online too. And it's a really thick paper. It can, comes in white or brown. And we're gonna cover the entire wall with this paper. This way the marker doesn't go through onto the wall, but yet we can still cover the entire wall from top to bottom. Okay, we have our canvas up there. We have our paper up there. I need to take a break. I'm exhausted. And uh, get some lunch and we'll come back and we'll paint a mural. Okay, good lunch. Hey, now let's talk about what we're gonna use to color, mark, and create art on our mural. This one's a Pasca. Red, this is an acrylic pen. You can see this one has a medium tip, but it comes in thin and even fatter. Malato, it's blue, nice blue. This is a two millimeter tip. These are a little harder to find. You can get these on the internet, the Malato. They're a little more expensive. So, uh, Zig Posterman, I love these. This one you can see has a chisel tip. So you can go thin, thick, whatever. Whoops. A lot of these pens, you have to pump them in order to get the ink to really start flowing. Regular Sharpie. You dig one of these out of the junk drawer. We all know how those work. Thick and thin. I love these. This Arteza, these, a bunch of different brands have these. Like we have the chisel tip right here. But we also, have this fine tip. You can make really, really small detailed stuff. So I dig that. This is my favorite pen of all time. It's the Sharpie, but it's an oil-based pen. So you're gonna wanna make sure you go to like an art store or online and get the Sharpie Medium oil-based pen. They're just a couple bucks, but they are the most permanent. And I, I just love them. They stick on everything. Like let's, yeah, I can even draw on my watch. You don't want to draw on your skin though. These I've only found online. I'm sure in bigger cities they might have them. This is the Grog, G-R-O-G, Squeezer Mini 20. You can see I can draw some big, big lines with those. Okay, but what if you don't have pens or you don't like to work with pens? Go old school. Little pencil action, you know? Make a mural with a pencil. Chalk. I love coloring it with chalk because you can fill stuff in. Look at that. Awesome. 
Charcoal. Charcoal is my favorite pencil. Classic Prismacolor pencil. Look at that. Ah, oh, yeah. You can angle it and get some nice dense colors with these Prismacolor. Okay, I'm so sick of talking. Time to draw. can see here is I finished the entire line drawing. Every day when I feel inspired I'll bust my chalks, my pencils, my crayons and uh, maybe when my daughter's over we'll color it in too. I hope you had a blast following along. I hope you're already up on the walls creating mural art in your house. If you have any questions you can send them to me via my Instagram or YouTube account and I'll put a link to that. Thanks a lot. Have fun.